Hello, Pat. Welcome home. How was your... day? What's wrong? Excuse me, where are you going? I can't hear you when you're walking away from me. Come here. Now. Good pet. I need you to do something for me. Before anything else, okay? Let's take some deep breaths. Remember. In for four seconds. Out for six. Good pet. Feel the stress and tension release as you slowly exhale. Very good. Now, I know that being alone can help when you're in a bad mood, but when we negotiated the terms of our dynamic, we both agreed to be upfront and honest about our feelings. I'm not a cruel dome. I'm absolutely willing to let you be alone. You may leave without a word to me now, but... There will have to be a small punishment waiting for you later. No hard feelings, just the way it has to be. Or we can get comfy and talk things out. Okay, sweetie? If you choose this, when I say sit, I want you to either kneel at my feet and rest your head on my legs, or lay beside me on the couch and put your head on my lap. You may pick whichever option feels better for you in this moment. Sit. Mm hmm. Good pet. You make me happy. I hope you know that. But we need to talk about you right now. When you came in, you had this look of utter defeat on your face. Your eyes were filled with anguish and frustration. Poor baby. I hate seeing you like this. I want you to tell me about your day, all right? All right, pet? Hmm. Right. Wow, okay. I can definitely understand why, why you'd be upset now. Thank you for sharing this with me. I want to say that even just barely surviving days like these is an achievement, pet. Even if it's one big bad thing happening, or a million small things constantly keeping you down. If you make it through your day without exploding, having a breakdown, or doing something unhealthy, that's a win. A win worthy of praise, even. It might not feel like it at the time, but it is. I'm going to showcase my nerdiness again, but, but you know you love it. A character from a game I played a while ago said, In the war against darkness, stalemate is victory. I think the quote works in this context. Sometimes life is just about surviving, just about breaking even. Mmm, I love stroking your skin. So warm and pleasant. I always love it when you're a good pet for me. I'd like to add, even if you do end up doing something unhealthy to win or cope, you're human. It happens. Just not often, please. I want you to be happy and safe and work through those feelings in safe and happy ways too, okay, pet? For example, exercising, eating your favorite snack or engaging in one of your hobbies. I know a lot of times the natural response is to shy away from social interaction, but if you resist that impulse and reach out to someone you trust, then you may find that exchanging words and connecting may help distract you or even make you feel better. Friends, family members, or you can talk to me, of course. You have people who care about you, don't forget that. Oh, and of course, another thing that may help you and I have plenty of options when it comes to exploring physical sensations. Plenty of whips, games, lockers, sensation toys, you name it. I'm more than willing to work your frustration out of your lovely body for you. 
Getting you into a subspace, watching you as your head fills the fuzzy, blissed out feelings that pleasure hormones brings. I love it. You make me feel damn powerful too. All you have to do is ask back. Nicely, of course. Or just act out a bit and I'll gladly remind you of your place. At my side. Always, but beneath me, right, Ben? <sighs> hmm, speaking of your place, you look a bit better than before, all cozy and cute, and at my whim. God, I'm glad you're mine. You look sleepy. I think a nap would help you. But if you want that alone time still, you can go with my permission. You're absolutely welcome to stay with me, though. Whatever you wish, my little pet.